College students learning what it means to operate in the business world are often taught how to best grow their wealth and cover expenses. But a program at Abilene Christian University aims to add charity into that mindset. KRBC's Noah McKinney attended a donation event today, the culmination of six students' work to award deserving causes with funds totaling $50,000. Abilene businesses are no stranger to charitable giving. I am honored to be presenting a grant to an organization that has a tremendous impact. Though these checks weren't presented by CEOs or campus presidents, but by students getting their first real taste of philanthropy in action. Definitely taught me to budget more and realize where is my money actually going. Abilene Christian senior Lindsay May is one of six business school students participating in a class focused on teaching strategic philanthropy. At the very beginning of the class, they gave each of us $10 and they asked us to do good with it. Oh my gosh, this is real money. How can I put it to the best use of good? Those $10 a warm up compared to the 50,000 in campus donations they were tasked with awarding to six local nonprofits. I saw the struggle around the board table. Like everyone's doing really good work, but without enough funding to go around to all applicants, you have to make cuts. Community Foundation of Abilene Grant Director Michelle Parrish set in on the student board meetings, watching as they had the difficult conversations she deals with daily. It's not enough to know how to make money. How are they going to be taught to be critical thinkers? How are they going to find causes that are important to them? Using real dollars and facing real dilemmas. They had great conversation and they, they made some tough choices. So it taught me a lot about having civil discourse, how to respect someone else while also disagreeing. These young entrepreneurs facing their careers with a mind for people, not just profit. Maya Angelou once said, I have found among its other benefits, giving liberates the soul of the giver. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noel McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Now, the nonprofits chosen by the board include the Salvation Army, Global Samaritan Resources, United Rescue Alliance, the Palm House, the Ministry of Counseling and Enrichment, and City Light. Each one thoroughly researched and advocated for by a member of that board.